Thank you for joining us on Valley News Live and we are enjoying quiet conditions right now, but it's been a cold day and this fella here is just wondering why and where has spring gone? I've been asked that question, believe it or not, in the grocery store, in the restaurant, amongst other places, and I can tell you I am not a fan of this cold either and it does look like it's going to be so cold. We're going to have to worry about freezing conditions. We are holding into the low 40s now in Fargo Moorhead. It's still windy from the north northwest out there, making it feel even colder than it is. But check out these temperatures. Now the warmest is Sisseton at 45. We have that same reading in Aberdeen. Oaks and Fargo, not bad. Grand Forks at 40 degrees. But once we go up to the north, we have some mighty chilly readings, including Rolla. 34 degrees already. You're two degrees from freezing, and this is uh, the area we're most concerned about. That Devil's Lake Basin, 36 in Langdon, 37 this hour in Walhalla, and sliding off into northwest Minnesota, we have several areas, including parts of Kitson County, Roseau County in the 30s, and look at Thief River Falls and Crookston in the 30s. Don't forget Faustin also in that same boat, and Babe the Blue Ox says it's getting a little chilly. It's 36 in Bemidji. All right, most of the winds are tapering off a bit, but we do have some gusts over 20 miles per hour out of the north and northwest continuing. The trend towards quieter winds will continue. And you saw the clear skies starting to show up on our sky cam here from South Fargo. Watch these last few scans. Here it is. So a batch of clearing going on there, but quite a bit of precipitation taking place from Minot and points north and some of it is snow and with a temperature like 34 degrees in Rolla, any precipitation dashing over the international border there could indeed fall as flakes. The good news is, is our chance of precipitation is low as we go through the overnight hours. There'll be spotty showers here and there, and we will generally see as we go through the overnight hours, almost all areas in the 30s. And in fact, I pause this at 235 in case you happen to be out walking the cat. We're going to see temperatures already below freezing at that time. So knit your cat a sweater as we go through the overnight hours. If we are below freezing for three or more hours, that can be what we call a hard freeze and some may experience that. So it's really going to be tough on your plants. If you have them outside, make sure you do that. And if you're in the freeze warning area in purple, you may indeed want to disconnect your garden hoses just to be on the safe side. Otherwise, many of us will have temperatures that will be good enough for some frost in many areas. Going through the first part of the day, northwest winds do pick up a bit, but not as strong as our Friday afternoon. We'll have 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. Notice spotty showers are still resembled on the future radar, drifting from northwest to southeast through the region. Most of us will see very little and they're going to be moving so quickly we won't see much accumulation. A few hundredths to around a tenth of an inch, unless you get under one of these orange ones. Those could be briefly heavier. Temperatures peaking in the 40s for almost all of us. The best shot at 50 will be to the south and southeast, quieting down late, and it will lead to another cold start on Sunday morning. 33 in Fargo in the 6 o'clock hour, then winds northwesterly 15 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures kiss 50 degrees. Then tomorrow, as we see a few breaks in the clouds, will have temperatures falling fairly quickly. We cannot rule out a sprinkle in almost any location the way things are looking tomorrow, but it won't amount to too much in your hometown forecast. All right, we do have some rainbow photos that came in. A lot of beautiful ones. Indeed, this one a double. Thanks, Tracy, for sharing your photo planning forecasts. Some good news, some rough news. We continue the cold weather Sunday morning. There will be frost potential. I think there'll be freezing potential mid 50s as we warm it up a pinch because we'll see more sun and less wind. Rain chances on Monday. Your update here is that it doesn't look organized or overly heavy, so that's good news and the warming trend continues and Hutch will move and you can smile because we got mid 60s that ramp all the way up to the mid 70s. Notice my son there on Thursday is trying to crack a smile just because it's maybe <laughs> thinking that spring is returning. In late May, right, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're being as patient as we can, and so are you. I appreciate that, yeah. Mr. Squirrel. So. <laughs> all right, thanks, yep.